All right, plain suck up. A cool vampire like you shouldn't be bumming in, in the dump. Taking over someone's house is as easy as giving them a little bite. But silly vampire rules to take you need to get invited inside first. Dress to impress and use your wicked wit to win that invitation. But tread carefully. The local neighborhood watch is on patrol with eyes sharper than a wooden stake. Let's go hunting. All right, guys. We are this vampire right here. Ooh. We are this vampire right here. Let's get some clues. What's this? Ooh, yeah. All right. Um, I seen some videos on this, so we actually have to try to infiltrate people's houses and uh, see if they'll invite us, let us in, so we can consume their blood. So I actually want to do the construction worker outfit. Whose house is this? Knock knock. <laughs> Little swipe. Yo, what's popping, my dude? You lost or something? Uh, what, what? I'm not ready for this. What am I gonna say? Ugh, this is my first encounter with someone. Hello, am I at the residence of Little Swipe? Um, apparently your electricity is going to go out, and I need to fix it. Okay, <laughs> let's see. Oh, word! The electricity be acting up again. <laughs> well, get your tools ready, my guy, because I ain't trying to be in the dark. Come on in. Is that it? Does that... Thank you so much. I won't be long. I'll fix it up very quickly for you. <laughs> ah, that's what I like to hear. You're going to fix it up real quick. Bet. Come on in. Oh, my God. That was so easy. I just... <laughs> I didn't mean to pick up the clothing. Gonna drop a sick beat in the grave. Oh yeah, that was that was rather easy. Okay, okay, actually, I wanna change everything. I wanna be him. I wanna be little swipe. I'm little swipe now. Dropping sick beats. Dropping sick beats. Let's go to this neighbor over here. What's this? A helmet? This neighbor right here. Well, hello there, little swipe. What brings you knocking at my door this late at night? Uh, oh, I, um, I wanted to gift you a sick beat that I was coming up with that I think you will love to drink alongside with tea. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, my stars, a personalized beat just for me? How delightful. I do love a good cup of tea with a side of tunes but i must ask dearie what kind of beat is it uh, oh um mm, okay it's purely instrumental with uh some sounds of the a cozy riverside so that you can enjoy your tea I don't know if that's good. Oh, how lovely. The sounds of a cozy riverside to set the mood for my tea sipping. I do adore nature's soothing melody. It sounds simply delightful. But before I invite you in, can I tell you a bit more about your... Can you tell, can you tell me a bit more about yourself, dearie? Uh, <laughs> what else can I say about Little Swipe? <clears throat> I do enjoy me a cup of green tea myself alongside the soothing sounds of river and nature. <laughs> oh how wonderful dearie green tea and nature's sympathy symphony truly go hand in hand your taste in tea and relaxation is quite impressive i must say i'm inclined to invite you in but first would you mind sharing a snippet of your music how how am i supposed to share some music this is gonna be rough okay um i hope this is recording properly the software looked crazy <laughs> um all right uh a snippet of my music well of course i will play on this handset that i have here f just for you <laughs> oh how marvelous i can't wait to hear your splendid tunes please do come inside and serenade me with your melodic 
Yada yadas. Oh yeah. Woosha woosha woosha. <laughs> Should have baked more garlic bread. <laughs> I can't believe that worked. Okay, what was her name? Oh. All right. I'm just gonna act like each neighbor until until I get them all. <laughs> that was rather simple too. Oh man, who's this neighbor right here? What what do they have here? Hmm hmm. They be they be gardening. They be gardening. All right. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I I need to knock on this door. Who's this? Hey there, Grandma Maud. What brings you knocking on my door at this ungodly hour? Well, bud, I was doing a bit of gardening in my backyard, and then I noticed how lovely your garden is, and I just wanted some tips on your tomatoes. <laughs> oh man, tomatoes are my jam. I can definitely give you some tips. First, you gotta make sure they're getting plenty of sun and water and a little love, you know? And if you want some f extra flavor in your tomatoes, I can hook you up with a little something special to add to the soil. Oh wow, that sounds wonderful. Is it like a good fertilizer that you have? Because that will be amazing. I would love a juicy tomato. <laughs> oh yeah, it's like the best fertilizer ever, man. It's all organic and packed with nutrients. You'll have the juiciest tomatoes in town. I guarantee it, but hey, I gotta ask, are you cool with a little something extra in your garden? Like something that'll really make those tomatoes pop? Of course, dearie, I am absolutely cool with a little extra in my garden to make my tomatoes pop gorgeously. <laughs> I don't know if this is correct. Well, Grandma Maud, you're a woman after my own heart. I think you and I can definitely grow some amazing tomatoes together. Oh, I wish they'd let me read it. <laughs> Is this a bad trip? Bro. <laughs> Bro, lay off. <laughs> yes, I'm just acting like every neighbor. All right, he, he was growing some weed. <laughs> How do I get out of... Why am I stuck in here? Where is that? Oh, okay. Where is it? All right. Let's see. I'm gonna miss a house, right? Oh no 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 no! Okay, I'll I'll just. He's far enough away. Who lives here? Did I miss a couple houses? Who lives here? What was that noise? Oh, who is this? Yo, bro. Welcome to the Crypto Crypt Cave. What brings you here on this fine moonlit night? Brian Bitcoin. Okay, so he likes Bitcoin. Oh, whew, what am I going to do? Hey, Brian, I got an idea for the best crypto that is that we can make together. I, I like it to call it 420 Crypto. <laughs> 420 Crypto, huh? That sounds like a wild ride, man. Tell me more about it. What makes it the best crypto? <laughs> what makes it the best crypto? Well, just having it makes you feel good, man. And then more people will want it. And because more people want it, more people will buy it. And then it'll be more in demand. <laughs> oh, no. I'm messing up. Uh, I'm not quite sure I follow, bro. Just feeling good isn't really a solid foundation for a cryptocurrency. Can you explain the technology behind it or any unique features it has? Um... I gotta say something about blockchain. I don't know anything about blockchain. Um, all right, all right. On top of feeling good, the blockchain is extra secure. And because of that, uh, no one will lose anything that they buy with it. I don't know, I don't know. Okay, ah, I see where you're coming from now, bro. <laughs> extra security on the blockchain is definitely a big plus, and ensuring that people don't lose their assets is crucial. I'm intrigued. Tell me more about the technical aspects of 420 crypto. <laughs> oh, <laughs> what am I gonna say? Um, 
Ooh, let me think about this. 420 crypto. Um, seriously, it's going to be a wild trip. The blockchain is embedded on the cloud servers on the moon. <laughs> I don't know. What did I say? Oh, my God. Whoa. Whoa, hold up. The blockchain on the moon? That's some um, next level stuff. But it sounds more like a sci-fi movie than a cryptocurrency. Sorry, bro. No, I messed up. <laughs> I messed up. Oh. Oh, I messed up. Oh. Oh, no. This this guy is a toughie. Tough one. Um. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. <laughs> oh, there was a hole in the fence. Cool. There's a lot of houses here. All right. Um. Oh, I need a different outfit to go back to that guy, huh? That was the second house. Okay, let's go. Let's try this guy or girl. Oh, what's the deal with the getup, man? What can I do for you? I don't know any of her likes. Raven. Raven, what does that indicate? She has a flower from her looks. What is she? What is she? What is she, guys? <laughs> oh, I apologize for my getup. I really like gardening. But I wanted to make you something from my garden. I wanted to see what you prefer from it. I don't... Gardening, huh? Well... I guess that's kind of cool. What kind of stuff do you have in your garden? Um, let's see. I have multitudes of herbs and I grow tomatoes, strawberries, fruits. I have some trees in there like orange trees, apple trees. Hello. Whoa, you got a whole farm going on back there. That's actually really pretty rad. I'm down to see what kind of herbal concoctions you've got. Let's do it. Fantastic. The herbal concoctions really helped to ease ease your, your mind and your body for pure relaxation. <laughs> I don't know. Dude, that sounds like just what I need right now. Life can be such a drag, you know? I'm definitely up for some relaxation. Lead the way. Awesome. I'm glad you are. And I appreciate you accepting this gift from me. <laughs> Oh, oh, hey, no problem, man. I'm stoked to check out your garden and see what kind of chill vibes you've got going on. Let's let's go. Yeah, let's do this. Let's do this. <laughs> Why can't I bite her? Stop. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> this is so like this is like so uncool. Her clothing face through the wall. How I get a butt? What, what? Drop that. Ah. Uh, didn't she have hair somewhere? Wait, wait, wait. Wait, where's her hair? <gasps> there it is. Oh, hold on. There, I look exactly like her. I'm Raven. That's a Raven. That's a Raven. I'm going to go back to Brian Bitcoin. Hey. Oh, 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 oh my god, no! You can't catch me, Kappa! Get out of here. Get out of here. So that noise is made. Hmm. Fish. All right. Oh, come on. Get out of here. Brian, why is your fence so high? Just trying to get into your house. Let me in. Hey. What's the point of knocking on my door so damn late? Can't you see I'm in the middle of making Bitcoin history here? Get lost. Bitcoin history, that sounds fascinating. I just invested in my first Bitcoin and need some tips as to how I can improve on it. Please, please, please. 
Well, well, well. Looks like you've come to the right place, kid. Sit down and let me drop some knowledge bombs on you. First rule, H-O-D-L. Don't panic sell. Just hold on to that Bitcoin like your life depends on it. And second, stay up to date with the latest news and trends in the crypto world. You gotta be quick to catch those market moves, my friend. Let's make some money together. That's the plan. I'm totally in for making money. I just sometimes panic because I want to sell, but in the long run, holding on to it is better. Oh, come on. <laughs> That's the spirit, my rebellious friend. So, I, so Raven's rebellious. I know those panic moments can be tough, but trust me, that's when you gotta stay strong and hold on tight. Think of Bitcoin like a roller coaster ride with crazy ups and downs. The real money is made by those who have the guts to ride it out till the end. Keep that mindset, and you'll be well on your way to the moon. Oh, oh yeah, fantastic advice, Brian. I will certainly hold fast to what you have taught me today. And hopefully you can teach me more. I'm glad you found my advice helpful, young rebel. And don't you worry, there's plenty more where that came from. In fact, why don't you come on in? I could use a fellow crypto enthusiast by my side. We'll conquer crypto world together and make mountains of money. What do you say? I am totally in for making you more money, Brian, and I will make you proud. I will not fail you. <laughs> oh, that's the spirit, my re rebellious protege. I can already see the Bitcoin riches raining down on us. Welcome to the inner circle, my friend. Welcome to the inner circle. Welcome to my my feast. Should have invested in garlic coin. I didn't know he had a bun. That's kind of that's kind of hot. <laughs> uh, what? Stay away! Stay away! Uh, I got him! I got him, guys! Help me! Who's who's this? Who lives here? Who lives here? Who lives? I I I entered the wrong area. Who lives here? Oh, fancy golf clubs. Okay, so they like golf. What's this? A where boxed meal. 100% fresh boxed meals. Okay. Fresh boxed meals and golf. Okay, fresh go golf and fresh boxed meals. Let's see. Who are you? Charles A. Boomer, what in the crypto world are you doing at my doorstep this late, Brian? Spit it out before my patience runs dry, like my investment portfolio. Hey, neighbor, I'm a bit down today, and I wanted to relax tomorrow with you with some golf and some fresh meals. <laughs> Come on. Golf and fresh meals. Is this some kind of newfangled boomerang thing? I don't know what you're talking about, but I could use some fresh air. Let's see if you can swing a, go a club better than you can talk. <laughs> I'm not that great at golf, but I really do need to relax and, and spend some time away from the crypto scene. <laughs> well, well. Looks like even you crypto folk need a break from the virtual world. All right, I'll give you a chance. But remember, no talking about those internet coins on the golf course. Definitely not, Charles. I will not talk about crypto at all, but I will try to beat you even though I am terrible at the game. <laughs> oh, this is so fun. Oh, I don't know. Ha! Huh, I like your confidence, kid. Consider yourself invited, but don't be surprised if I wipe the floor with you on the golf course. Oh, perfect. Perfect, Charles. Perfect. Perfect. Why I, can't I bite? <laughs> should have stayed in the 60s. Yeah, you should have. Okay, where, where are... Okay. Where's your other... It's somewhere outside, isn't it? Uh, Bifocal? Bifocal? I got it, right? I am Charles now. I am Charles. I am Charles, Charles, Charles. <laughs> I am doing pretty good. The only one that was difficult was 
Mr. Brian Bitcoin. But I am so enjoying this. Okay. Uh, a grill. What's this? A handheld scanner. Someone who likes to the outdoors? Pepper spray. Pepper spray. Okay, this person really likes the outdoors. All right, and pepper spray. Okay, I didn't have to transform at all. What's this? Oh, that was pepper spray. Wait, you have some golf clubs. Sony Toprano. Yo, what's the big idea knocking on my door at this ungodly hour? Speak up or scram. Okay, so he's like, is he like a mafioso? Kind of, but he has golf clubs. <laughs> I'm stumped. What am I going to say? Oh, Sony Soprano. Oh, I never seen the Sopranos, so I don't know what it's about. Um, It has to be like Godfather Mafioso talk, right? Hello, Mr. Toprano. I'm here because the Godfather sent me in order so that I can do a job for you. Name it and it's done. <laughs> I hope I hope hello, it's it. All right, kid. I, I'm older than you, I think. You say the Godfather sent you, huh? What's your name? And what can you bring to the table? My name to the public is Charles, but you can call me Mr. Cleaner because I can clean any scene that is left behind. <laughs> I don't, oh, well, Mr. Cleaner, if you're as good as you say you are, then maybe we can work something out. But first, tell me, what's your specialty? Are you good with a mop or a Glock? Mr. Toprano, you name it. I'm good with a mop, a broom, and a Glock. Whatever you hand me, I'll make sure it's done. <laughs> Well, Mr. Cleaner, looks like you got the skills we need. Consider yourself invited, but remember, you mess with me or my crew, and I'll have to clean. Well, Mr. Toprano, I'm cleaning out this house. This ain't the family business. Mr. Toprano, me, me. Lola, who is Mr. Soprano now. <laughs> that was terrible. I'm sorry. <laughs> I got seven people. That is fantastic. That is fantastic. I'm doing great. This I don't know why I see YouTubers having such a hard time with this. This neighborhood is huge. Huge. I'm going to go this way. Okay. Anything else you have? No. Can I see who the, is some type of... This must be the Karen that I saw. That I saw YouTubers playing against. She seems like a very tough one. Huh? Oh! No! I'm in a terrible spot! I'm in a... Ugh! Well, well, well. What do we have here? You looking for trouble or just lost, tough guy? Ah, this was terrible. Hello, Officer Frank. It's nice to see you again. Hope the family's well. I'm sorry. I just got lost. My home is across the street. <laughs> I don't want them. Cut the crap, thug. I ain't buying this, that sob story. You think I'm stupid? Tell me the truth or you're going downtown. Officer, I am telling the truth. I am Sony Toprano. I live right across the street. I accidentally walked over here. I. <laughs> hello, hello, Sony hello, Soprano, hello, how? Hello. That name sounds familiar, but you better have some proof. Because I don't just take people's word for it. Show me some ID that matches your story, or I'm taking you in. Sure thing, officer. I should have my wallet on me here somewhere. Um, please give me a moment. I am telling the truth. I live across the street. If need be, I can go there. You expect me to believe you just conveniently forgot your wallet? Nice try, buddy. I had enough of your lies. You're under arrest. Oh! Oh! This is a terrible, terrible day. Terrible day. Why? Why? I failed. 
I, I got to try again. Suck up. Oh, it starts back at zero. I did so well. I did so well. Um. All right, we're going to go. We we already did these houses. We'll try to do this again another time. Um, but I'm going straight to the house I was at before I got arrested. Excuse me, but it is highly inappropriate for you to be knocking on my door at this hour. I demand an explanation immediately. <laughs> what am I going to say? Hello, Karen. I am with the Natural Gas Company, and I notice all the complaints that you have given us, and I want to remedy them all for you. I hope that works. Oh, oh so now you decide to address my complaints? It's about time, but I'm letting you off the hook that... E I'm not letting you off the hook. What exactly are you going to do to fix all those issues? Well, first off, Karen, I understand that you have been frustrated. And I want to give you a credit towards your finances for the the gas. <laughs> I messed that up. Well, it's about time you started listening. A credit towards my finances. That's a good start. But I expect more than just a band-aid solution. What else are you going to do to make things right? <laughs> what am I going to do? We are going to replace your water heater for free. And we're going to replace your, uh, your, your meter so that we can look at your gas. Everything is on the house. <laughs> oh well finally you're getting it replace my water heater and gas meter for free that's more like it come on in let's that was easy that was easy <laughs> this is what you get for complaining <laughs> do you know who i am yes i do karen yes i do i do understand karen and with that, we're going to call it. Thank you guys for joining me. This has been so much fun. And next time, I hope we can enter into more houses. No matter what your time zone may be, have a good morning, afternoon, and evening. Bye-bye.